How's it going, everybody? Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I'm excited to have you here to learn about Google Universal App Campaigns. Today, we're gonna to be taking a deep dive on everything that you need to know to get started to start promoting your app. Um, like I said, I appreciate the support on this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and like the video if you find value in it as we go throughout this. So I'm gonna jump right in into what we're gonna be covering. And, and I just have it outlined right here. So the first thing is we're gonna be talking about conversion tracking for your app. So if you're running um, ad spend to promote this, your app, you're gonna wanna know what your cost per install is, if you're getting installs, and even like if users are taking actions like purchasing or doing other valuable um, events inside of your app. So I'm gonna show you how to, um, briefly how to set that up, and then we're gonna go over how to actually set up an app install campaign, how to build it out, how to get all the creative inside of there. And then the last thing is I'm gonna talk about best practices and some different optimizations. I'm gonna jump inside of a real account and show you some of the real-time data that um, you can gather and kind of do inside of a universal app campaign and just give you an over, overall understanding of uh, how to succeed with these campaigns. So um, first thing that we're gonna do is I'm just inside of here, inside of a dummy account. I'm going to show you the first thing that you need to do, which is set up your conversion tracking. Before you run any app install campaign, you're gonna to wanna to track the conversion. So we're gonna come over here to tools and settings and we're inside of Google ads, of course. And then we're gonna come over here to um, conversions. And what you're gonna to need to do is uh, click on this little blue plus here to add a new conversion. And from there, there are this, there's app conversions right here. And obviously that's what we're looking for because we're gonna be promoting an app. All right, and now that we're inside of here, you see that we have three different options. We have Google Analytics 4 or the Firebase property. We have Google Play and we have um, a third party app analytics. Now, if you are running a iOS campaign, you're gonna to need to go with the Google Analytics 4 property and connect to your Firebase or Google Analytics 4. Um, if you're running a Android campaign, you can just connect with the Google Play Store. And third-party analytics, these are your tools like App Flyers or different things that you can import the um, campaigns inside of there. I'm not gonna get into this because it's a little more technical, but um, for an iOS campaign, you will need to have the Firebase SDK or now the Google Analytics 4 in installed on there. And you can click on this, bu this button right here. And when you click, you wanna make sure that you're in the same Gmail account that has access to your Firebase account. And inside of here, you'll see um, just a, a simple button that says link my account. Obviously, I don't have one connected right here for this situation, but it's as simple as connecting it there and then you can import all of the different events inside of your account. Now for a Android uh, event or Android app install event, it's a little bit easier, <laughs> actually very easy. So all you need to do is click on this Google Play and then you want to collect, uh, select if you want either app installs or in-app purchases. You click on installs, you hit continue. And what this allows you to do is enter the conversion name. So we'll call this installs. And then all you need to simply do is if your app is on the Google Play Store is search for the app you want. So we're gonna use this example of where's my water to. And then we're gonna not gonna assign a value to this. So we're just gonna do not assign a value because it's just the install, not an actual purchase. You can go through and set your attribution windows. I, I recommend just keeping them at the standard and then you can create and continue. And this is now included in this conversion. So I've already created this one inside of here, um, but you wouldn't get this warning if it was a brand new one. But once that's created, you can see inside of this conversion action, here is what that will look like. So we have where is my water to, and then it has Google Play, download, and once. So that's how to set up the conversion actions for either iOS or for a Google um, account. Uh, you'll see later why these are important, but definitely the first step that you wanna take is setting up that convert those conversion actions. Now, the next part is now that we have the conversion, um, the conversion set up, is we actually wanna go in and create the app install campaign. So we're gonna come in here to either hit this plus or this plus or basically any new campaign. We're gonna hit right there, new campaign. And we of course want the app install uh, objective. So we want to promote our app right here. And now it gives you a couple different options. If you're going for um, just pure, purely app install volume, obviously you wanna select this, uh, this uh, option. If you want an in-app engagement, you can do that as well. You will need to import those uh, events in from Firebase or from Google to be able to do that. But for this example, we're gonna be talking just about app installs. And then if you wanted to get really advanced, you could do a pre-registration for your Android um, to select this event. But most people, they will just be going for app install volume. So we're gonna go there. This one is going to be for Android. So best practices, if you have Android and an iOS uh, app, then you're gonna to want to run uh, two separate universal app campaigns, one for Android, one for iOS, 
and run those at the same time. Basically, you have to set up this twice for each of those. But for this example, we are just going to go with this Android. We're going to hit continue. And we're going to name this uh, just UCA Universal App Campaign. And then I'm going to call it Android. I can type. There we go. You can select your targeting. So you could go all the way. You could do United States, Canada, all countries and territories where your app is listed. So this will only show in the areas where your app is listed on the Google Play Store. So just keep that in mind. Or if you want to get really, really granular on your targeting, you could do that as well. Um, next is your languages and then your budget right here. So I usually like to start off, you know, $50 a day or so. And then now we have the bidding. So as you can see here, uh, the only option is giving me is the install volume because that's the objective that we chose. If we wanted to uh, do in-app actions or in-app action values, you can see here, we'll need to set up conversion tracking. So if you're wondering why you're not getting those options, if you just click this button, it will walk you through how to set up that conversion actions inside of Firebase or the Google Play Store. Um, uh, but that's kind of the explanation on why that th those are kind of great out there. And then how do you, we want to uh, track the install volume? We set up this conversion action, so this is perfect. This is the one that we uh, just set up for install volume. And then we want to target all users, just anybody who is likely to uh, download the app. Like I said, if you wanted to get more into optimizing for likely to uh, purchase or things like that, you'll need to set up those conversion actions and then target cost per install. So we're gonna shoot for uh, around $2 for our install volume is what I like to start with. If I notice that I'm getting a lower uh, target per install, then I'll lower that or increase it just to get more volume. It kind of depends on the app that you have and what your what what the value of an install is to you. So there's those options. And then uh, we're gonna scroll down here. And these advanced options, you can add a data feed. I'm not gonna get into it for the purposes of this video. Um, and then your start and end date. Typically I just start the date and then have it run and collect data as it goes through and um, uh, and optimize that as we go. You can see here, uh, it is giving me this warning saying your budget is too low for your target cost per install. So whenever I do get this warning, uh, I kind of just glazed over it, but I do want to talk about it. Whenever I do get this warning, I will try to uh, at least 50X my target budget. So it's saying uh, if my budget's $2, they want that to be at least, my budget to be at least $100. Uh, that's like the best way to optimize this campaign. As you can see, that now went away. Now, if I was going for a dollar cost per install, then I could have my budget be $50 a day. So keep that in mind. Um, it is best to have a 50X, have your budget be 50X, your target cost per install inside of there. So for now, we could just keep this at a dollar um, uh, for, for the purposes of this video. So now we're going to save and continue. That's the main setup and the targeting that you can do inside of here. A lot of people wonder um, if you can get more granular with the targeting. With Google Universal App Campaigns, essentially it's using Google's algorithm to target people and to uh, get the people who are most likely to install your campaigns. Unfortunately, that means you do not have control on like keywords or even placements or different things like that. It's completely the, the algorithm finding the best people inside of here. And I'll show you exactly where um, oops, I didn't select a location and I'll show you exactly where these show up and how those kind of look inside of the, inside of the app store. So now that we've created that, now it's time to create our actual ad and inside of here, uh, it's very similar to, if you were to create a responsive display ad, if you've done that before or any other assets like that, as you see here, we have up to, uh, 20 different headlines or up to five different headlines that you can add up to 30 characters. So we could say, you know, um, where is the water? Where's the water, right? Um, and then add, you know, we need, we just say test here. I don't want to waste your time going through and filling all this all out, but you kind of get the idea and it will pull in, um, some certain images and you can see kind of what it looks like. And then you can add up to 20 images into your app campaign. I do recommend, um, uh, uploading at least 20 cause this just gives Google so much more ammo to be able to go through and optimize the right images with the right headlines, with the right descriptions. And then same thing with the video. I know it's hard to get 20 different videos inside of there, but the more you can get the better and how to upload these images is just by simply um, hitting this image. If you want to know the sizes that are allowed, you can scroll over this little bar and it will show you all the recommended sizes. You can uh, go to your recently used assets if you used a lot of assets before, or you can upload them just directly from your file. I'm not gonna go through and upload the actual ads inside of here just for the purpose of this video, but that's how you would uh, go about doing that. 
now and same thing with the videos but with the videos instead of uploading it from your computer it actually does need to be a url from youtube so you need to find the url from your youtube channel and paste the video inside of there if the video is not on youtube then you'll need to have a youtube channel and uh create the youtube video upload it and then uh, uh put the url right inside of there so like i said i do recommend having as up to at least 20 images inside of here and then at least adding uh, a few videos because it really does help the the performance of the universal ad campaign. And as you can see here, a lot of people have questions on like, where are my ads gonna show up? And that's one of the frustrations that I have with the universal app campaigns. The beauty of the algorithm is that it does show in the best places where you're likely to get the most downloads, but at the same time, you're kind of wondering where my ads showing and what are they looking like? Um, and here it kind of gives you a breakdown. So it will show on the display network. And here's some like examples of what that may look like on the display network. You can come here, click in these and go, uh, you know, this is what it looks like here. This is what it looks like in this example. Um, so there's, you know, three or four different examples on what your, your app can look like. And then inside of search, it will also show inside of there as well, showing at the top, where's the water, where's my water. And you can see a couple of different examples. Actually, I think there's only one for search. So um, inside of YouTube, it will show up as well in those banner ads and kind of down below the videos, a few different examples of what those make like. So they look really good, right? And they kind of show up everywhere. And it's a great way to just basically show your app in, in a lot of different places. Um, and on the discovery, which is a newer thing, and this will only show on Google, uh, on, on Android devices, because uh, it's a, a Google owned uh, network. And then finally, Google Play, of course, which is a big one why a lot of people want to run these is because uh, you can show up right when people are inside of the Google Play Store and uh, looking for an app of some sort. So you can see you show up in related apps, and uh, inside of here on the top when somebody's searching for certain things. Uh, so a lot of different places that your apps will show up. And essentially once that's done and you've added your headlines and your descriptions, uh, like I said, the algorithm will go through and find the best, uh, the best winning variants for you. And then you can hit save and continue. And now your campaign is ready to go. Congratulations, you've created a, uh, a universal app campaign. Now, uh, after that's done, the next thing, don't go away yet though, because I wanna show you, I wanna take you inside of a real campaign and show you what the results look like as, uh, as it's been showing and how you can start, kind of start optimizing to see what's the winning variants are and what that may be. So stay tuned, I'm gonna jump into a real account and we'll kind of talk about it from there. Okay, and here we are inside of a live campaign and I wanna go through and show you some of the best practices and optimizations that you can make and some of the data that you can glean from these campaigns after they've been running for a while. So um, the first thing we're gonna do is come over here to the ad group of the, the app install campaign that we're in. And what you can do from here is you can actually uh, click on this little column. If you wanna know where your ads are showing up and where you're getting the installs, you can click network search, um, network with search partners and you can see where the actual downloads are coming. So you can see for this campaign, we're getting 11 from uh, Google search, but then we're getting uh, 518 from Google Display Network and two from YouTube. So it kind of breaks down on where your ads are showing and where you're getting the most installs and where you're getting the cheapest installs for your dollars. Now, after you've gone through and, and checked the um, networks that you're showing on, you can then come through and you can actually click inside of the ad group. So we're gonna click inside of there. And then we're gonna scroll over here. And it, as you can see, it shows you all of your different assets. You have your different headlines and the videos that you're using. And it's kind of interesting because Google will give you a performance grade. So it'll say um, assets that are performing low. As you can see, this headline here is performing low. This one's good. This description's best. This one's good. This one's best. And then you can scroll over and see which ones are bringing in, once again, the lowest um, cost per installs and which ones are having the highest click through rate. So, so this is the best way to go through and optimize your campaigns is by finding those headlines that have low performance or those descriptions that have low performance or images, videos, whatever it may be, pause those, um, replace them with new ones and constantly be testing to figure out how you can improve and increase your click through rate and lower your cost per install volume. So hopefully you found this video helpful if you're getting ready to run app install campaigns. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if uh, you did find, uh, if you made it this far in the video and you found value in it and we will see you in the next one.